This is my rut stand location. We come up here uh, right around November every year and there are a lot of big bucks in here. I've killed two Pope and Young bucks in here and seen many more. So starting this week, we'll be trying to come up. We'll see. Good morning. Uh, it's November 3rd and just checking last minute for the weather but today we're gonna head out and uh to the farm and last night i definitely did a lot of shuffling in my head like probably a lot of you do what stand to go to what stand to go to and i'm just gonna try to do the wind game uh the stand i'm going to is on the downwind side of a bedding area, but it's right on the edge of a field, which I don't really like for the morning, especially during the rut, but you just never know. So I'm gonna give this a try, hunting this wind and hunting this um, idea for downside on the bedding and see.
right, well, pretty interesting morning. I saw four bucks, uh, mature doe and two little ones. Uh, the last buck I saw looked like a decent eight point. I would have possibly shot him because I'm trying to get my first self-filmed kill, but he was definitely iffy. I wouldn't have shot him if there wasn't a camera. Um, but he's locked down with a doe, and he just walked in behind me with that doe. So I think I'm actually gonna try to get out of here and come back out later with my son, try to get him on one of these bucks, so. We'll be back. What's today? Um, November 3rd. November 3rd. We're getting out here a little late. It's like 4.15. It's been a lot of activity in this hay bale blind uh, out there in the field around it. So that's what we're gonna hit up tonight. We're ready to put something on the ground. so anything could happen at any time right now I, this is where I saw the two bucks this morning walk right in front so maybe they'll come back out and hit this field again um, also that eight point is behind us in the woods about 250 yards away it could come out with that doe as well so we're gonna keep our eyes open and be ready Definitely got his horns up high, so he's just feeding. So let's just. just be ready in case something else pops up.
third line. Tell me, tell me when you're ready and I'll tell him to I'll give him a stop. Right. Yes. Yes. Dude. I didn't see the shot because I was looking at the camera. Did you happen to see it? No, but I, I heard it go. <gasps> go. go. Dude, I told you I had a feeling. But it went up a little high though, which I hope it's still okay. It's alright. If he's six or seven points, I'm happy, dude. dude oh my god. He's at least eight. Really? He was he was wide. <laughs> he's a great buck for you, man. <laughs> you put the 40 in the third line on him. I heard it go flat. That's a good sound. I think it was high though, I think it was high. But oh, we're gonna look at it in a second. All right, we're heading up now. We're gonna go back to the house, check it out on the computer if we can, and then see what we're gonna do. Um, I found the arrow, looks like maybe half or a little less than half, and it broke off, but there's blood a little further than half, so. It looks pretty, pretty good blood, so. You know, let's just say a little prayer and keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully God will let us get this deer. It's a pretty nice one. All right, we got the tracking boys. We got a dog, Terry Bob. We got a a Ron. Present. This is a a Ron's farm. <laughs> so we're out here. We're gonna go try to find. Well, he's over there. That little weasel's buck. Yeah. Uh, Come on over here, Payton. Let's see what he got. See what he got. Oh, I mean. We're gonna get in there. See what you got when you get here. So, oh, what do you what do you think? I just want to find him. You think you think you're gonna find it? If we can find good blood, hopefully. Yeah. And what if there's bubbles for in the blood, blood, I listen. Ah, mm, bubbles. Yeah, that's what we need. We need some bubbles. Yes, sir. All right, guys. It's the next morning, November fourth, and. You guys kind of probably saw what happened. Peyton's shot was a little high, a little forward, and just overlooking at it a million times, and um, pretty sure that it it is right under the spine, and it did catch along. We waited two hours last night and decided to go down and take a look at some of the blood going in and see what it looked like. And when we got in there, there were bubbles in the blood and we have pretty good blood so i was convinced that you know, we could probably proceed and and go in and 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 until we saw anything that was like either no blood for a long time or some uh, bed or something then i thought we'll back out but we had like good blood for a couple hundred yards and no beds and we got to a point where the blood started to trickle out and it, he hit an edge of a cornfield. And after that, we looked a little bit left, a little bit right. We just, we couldn't find any more blood. So I decided let's just back out because I could tell it's one lung. You know, two lungs, he probably would have went down way sooner than that. One lung, they can run forever. And you either gotta let them go for a really, 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 really long time to expire on one lung, or you gotta get in there and keep pushing them because they they just really can't take it on one lung for that long if if you're pushing them. And uh, I don't think we pushed or bumped that deer, to my knowledge. I think that deer just continued whenever it got shot to run run stop run stop run stop it never bedded so i think it you know we it was way beyond where we were when we 
we're out there. So I'm come, coming back here and I'm going to go in first and start at that last blood, look both ways down that cornfield edge, look at the corn stalks, kind of look around for a while. And then my last ditch effort would be, I, I got a drone. I'm gonna lift that drone over the corn and try to just do a grid search over that corn in some of the woods if possible. You know, I, oh, I pray that we get this because this was this would be a great buck for Peyton. Well, came back in this morning. I was out there for four to five hours and couldn't find any other blood. I'm just disappointed in <laughs> in the deer, honestly. Like the shot wasn't horrible. It could have been a little bit better, yes. But it I thought he did pretty well. I just man, just sometimes that's how bow hunting goes. It sucks. I just feel so bad for him because, man, he was so excited, and I was so excited when he got a shot on that deer, and it made a good flack noise, and it just sounded good. It, it, I just thought it was going to be better than what it was. So well, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep – we might even go out this evening and look again, but it's kind of going to be a needle in a haystack kind of thing now. So unfortunately, that's the way it goes, and – We'll try to get him out there on something else. You know, nobody wants to hit a deer in a bad spot, in a spot that's not immediately lethal. So he's going to hopefully learn from it. I'm going to learn from it. And then we're just going to go from there.